You are very confident about your triumph. Until we open the chest, we won't know for sure if the compass of destiny is really inside. The chest is in perfect shape after 2,000 years under the sea. No human technology can do that. It's Atlantean, that's for sure. The ship, the inscriptions, all the pieces fall into place. The compass of destiny is inside. We are going to change the course of this goddamn war, Vern. We're going to change history. Take it to Mr. Vern's lab and start maneuvers to ascend for air recycling. This discovery will change it all. March 25th, 1888. Scientific Officer Log. It's a great day for the captain, who has asked me to begin documentation while he delivers a speech to the crew in the library. After months of searching, at last he found it. He doesn't have the slightest doubt that the compass of destiny is in his hands. An old artifact that, once released from inside this chest, it is supposed to guide us safe and sound to the flame of Hephaestus, the most powerful energy source in the world. The deadbolt has a complex defensive system and the... Vern here! Vern, quick! The nation is attacking us! Not a single Atlantean piece can fall into their... Mon dieu! Merde! 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 I must hurry to recover the iMac. It, it's inside of the armory safe room, and wait there. It's the safest place around. I must hurry to the armory. I must hurry to the armory. No! Blocked! There's only one way to the armory. Going outside. Merde! The elevators are disabled. Going down. It's not the answer. It's a cul-de-sac. Useless gear ball. Why don't you open?
jammed. Oh, mon dieu! Adam and Sean! This is a massacre! But wait! These bullet wounds on Sean. There are no blood drops around. He was shot after he was dead. That's disconcerting. It's jammed. I have to go down to the armory. Maybe I can open the safety hatches from the bridge. It's burn. Is somebody there? No foes here. Adriel, where is everybody? And Nadine? The pilot has disappeared. Very likely she has been captured with the others at the library. What happened? How is that even possible that... I don't know. The server radars didn't work. Nothing has worked. They crushed us. Damn, Raven. The Raven? Merde. Well, that's not the worst of all. The captain has activated the Nautilus self-destruction. What? He will never let his technology fall into the hands of the nation. How much time do we have? Less than ten minutes. Mon dieu! You are the second in command. Can't you disactivate it? Only Nemo knows the code. He told me to protect the bridge to speed away as soon as we release ourselves. But the engines are currently paralyzed until the captain reactivates the core. That's why we're still outside. Oh my god! What will we do? You are the only one who can do something. What? The only what? I'm not a soldier. Well, now you must become one. I will open the hatches to the armory chamber. Once there, take the iMag and do whatever you can to save the Nautilus. But the iMag? It's not a weapon. We barely know how to use it or what it can do. What if it sinks us? What do you fancy more? A quick death beneath the sea or a long life of tortures at one of the nation's penitentiary mines? <laughs> Move! I still have some stuff to do. He grabbed that paper with his last strength. It's bloodied. Here. Vern, the Opta recorders show that the Raven has cornered the captain and the engine core. Go there. I will open the hatch. And what am I supposed to do? Think. You'll figure something out. You're an imaginative guy. Mad. Fortunately, damages in the area weren't considerable. It's broken. I could try to fix it with the iMac. The electric board kept withstanding. Hmm. 
strike with the iMac. Before dying, he released a paper he was holding in his hand. Locked. The explosions didn't affect the room. I still have some stuff to do. Blocked. I can only use the iMag if I know the possible options. I must find another way inside. Before dying, he left the emergency hatch open. Fire at will! Watch the flanks! The core! Don't let them take it over! Watch the flanks! Fire it doesn't air. work! It must have run out of energy. I could fix the electric board. You just don't know when to surrender. Isn't that so? Of course not. I still have to finish your base. The Nautilus is at last on the nation's hands. Tell me how to deactivate the self-destruction and... Take my word as a gentleman. I will free your crew. Ha! <laughs> gentlemen. I saw in the penitentiary mind what to free means to you, you damn sadist. I will die before releasing the Nautilus to your masters. It's a shame to end our relationship like this, but... Wish granted, Captain. This time you will not escape. Brothers, take aim! No! What am I doing? Vern? What are you doing? What the... Oh, you must be Mr. Vern, and that... thing you're threatening me with is the amazing Atlantean artifact I've heard so much fuzz. Release them and get out. Don't move. Get back. 60 seconds to self-destruction. 60 seconds to self-destruction. Don't be stupid, Nemo. Stop the countdown before we all die. No. Then say goodbye to your dear Van. No! No! But 
What the? Again? No! Vern! I will find you! The iMac had never displayed that amount of power before. My mind was dragged again to the bridge, an image that was torturing me over the last months. I didn't wake up until a few hours later, a time that surely Nemo felt was like an eternity. Captain, my take is that the only way to open it safely is exposing it to the iMag. Are you sure? This deadbolt is a piece made by Phobos priests. Their devices were famous for being impenetrable, forged with the remainders of a meteorite. If anyone messes with it, it will launch a discharge of an energy that will cause a deep, infinite terror to whoever receives it. An energy that causes terror? That's preposterous! Maybe for you, but for the Atlanteans, the power of Phobos was real enough. Do you think that fear, destructive imagination, and hopelessness don't exist? Not presented in the shape of fireworks and sparks. If you don't believe me, feel free to break the chest with a crowbar. <sighs> How can the iMag open it? The iMag feeds itself with Mr. Verne's imagination and uses it to creatively change our reality. Therefore, it's a positive force, directly opposed to the kind of energy that the deadbolt uses. I'm reasonably convinced that the energy of the iMag will nullify the one in the lock. You mean, like sand and rust? Could be. The deadbolt is a rusty key, and the iMag, the sand that wipes away when scrubbed. Do it, Vern. What the... What now? The iMag. It... it doesn't work. It looks like it ran out of energy. That explosion must have dried it up. You must make it work. We must release the Compass of Destiny from this chest. Shouting at me won't help. Adriel, go and look for Petrov. May he bring the torch and... Captain, I must advise against force opening the chest. Unless you want to lose your mind. What is imperative now is to find an answer to why the iMag is dead. If you have any theory, spit it out now. It's possible that, given that the iMag gets its energy from the imagination of its host, the problem is inside your mind, Vern. In my mind? Yes, that's true. You talked about hallucinations. Y yes. For an instant, I travelled back to a bridge in Paris. I had a similar vision at the island. Do you remember seeing something like this in your vision? It certainly has a likeness with the shadow I saw at the bridge, but... Are you telling me that I saw Phobos, the Atlantean god of fear? Fear is a narrow description of what Phobos really meant to the Atlantean people. For them, he was the destructive imagination, the one born out from despair and angst. You could also say that his sister Placea, however, represented fantasy. But the truth was that she was perceived as the source of the creative imagination, the one that thrives from hope. I think that Atlanteans believed that the balance between the two brothers dictated one's own sanity. If Phobos has broken that balance in your mind, that would explain the iMag silence. Mythology? You're talking about mythology? I don't believe in Phobos, hence it's impossible that it's harming me. The thing here is, you are afraid. Too much fear inside you. Until you don't master it, I'm afraid that the iMag will never work again. I refuse to believe in Hocus Pocus. And how can you explain the iMag blast? It saved your life. I don't question that the Atlantean technology doesn't work. What I mean is that- Enough with the debate! We are losing precious time. What matters is that the iMag only works with you. It's obvious that your hallucinations are a symptom of some kind of disorder. Visit Dr. Cedric and get yourself a neurological check. That's an order. All right. You, Adriel, 
Check the reparations. We must keep afloat for two days until we get to the base. We must assume that Commander Hetzel is not far from us. Yes, Captain. Why are you still here? Aren't you bothered by the way we were attacked? They fell upon us too easily. It's more than probable that there is a traitor on board. A traitor? In the Nautilus? Never! I have personally chosen each member of this crew. There is no question that the nation has found a way to decode our communications. Um, I envy your confidence, Captain. But you should be aware that during the attack, I found that someone shot Shun's body after his death. I believe that the murderer was trying to hide the fact that he was killed before the boarding. God damn it. Let's keep our eyes opened. If there is a traitor in such a small space, he or she will be exposed sooner or later. God damn it! Nonsense. I may have my issues, but Atlantean magic. Come on. Let's go to deck three to see Doc. We are underwater. I can't go outside. Nemo's organ has always fascinated me, and also gives me chills, just like the captain. It doesn't work. I can't reach the sick bay. I'll go to the bridge and see if Nadine can help me. Jules, good to see you. Nadine, I'm glad you're alive. I have a big headache thanks to a rifle butt, but I'm in one piece, not like this melting piece of junk. It is still a striking piece of junk. That's because I'm the one who steers it, babe. <laughs> Do you think they will find us again? No doubt about it. We have decoded a radio message from the nation. The Raven is still alive and it's behind us at full throttle. Your hocus pocus stuff only sent him 200 miles away from us. Sooner or later he will fall upon us and that's for sure. If we keep ourselves underwater, he won't find us. We have been two days without recycling air and the oxyo recyclers are quite damaged. If we don't emerge soon, you will discover what it's like to want to puke with every breath. Wonderful. I came for a more mundane issue. Can you activate the elevators for a moment? I must reach the sick bay. Of course, um, I hope you're fine. I will give you a few seconds of energy. We are so low at fuel that even seals pass us. God, what I'd give for being shopping in New York. Hello, Assistant Sarah. Are the navigation systems holding up? Barely. I am patching up all I can to allow Nadine to pilot. I'm sorry, Monsieur Verne. I cannot help you now. These systems require my full attention.
Fern, you are here. The Nemiogram isn't prepared yet. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. How are you? I felt better before my conversation with Nemo. He's getting more nervous each day. <laughs> that happens to all of us. What's this device? Nemiogram? A memory writer? That's it. I designed it months ago, but I hadn't the chance to test it. It induces a deep hypnosis trance to a patient, and it's ideal to explore the blocked corners inside his or her mind, theoretically. Theoretically? Yes. Your checkup from after the boarding shows no brain damage, nor blood clots that explain your hallucinations. So I decided to try an alternative approach. Hypnosis? Why? The iMag and you are linked by imagination. Doctor, that sounds terribly unscientific. Call it in brainwaves or whatever you like. The undeniable matter here is that the iMag only works with your brain. The Raven attack provoked a trauma, and because of that, the iMag doesn't work anymore. And how is this machine supposed to cure me? It will not cure you. My intention with the Nemiogram is to discover what happened to you at that island. You have told me many times that although you don't hold any memory of that episode, you believe that there is where you found the iMag and suffered your first bridge hallucination. Maybe the memory of the events you experienced at the island holds the answer, or at least a clue that will help us to cure your malady and the captain's concerns. A very interesting hypothesis, but frankly, Doc, are you sure that you aren't going to fry my brains? Of course not. Theoretically. I guess we'll be able to find out about it. Relax, while I finish the adjustments. I don't even know what that is anymore. Will it hurt? Not at all. Although it's possible that you'll suffer some headaches in the next hours. That doesn't help me to relax. I promise that the headaches will be worth it. So, how's the vaccine? Intact, at least. Luckily, the nation minions didn't make it to here. On the other hand, my research is absolutely at a standstill. Cholera is an extremely resistant bacteria. Each day, more and more people die from it. For what I've been informed, the horror I lived in India is nothing compared to what is going on right now among the workers of the nation's factories. You know you have me here for whatever you need. In the event I survive this machine, of course. When do we start? It's ready. Let's begin. Focus. Tell me about the bridge. It's a bridge in Paris, I believe. Mist surrounds me. I have a strange feeling because there is someone else here with me. I have felt that very same presence before, at the island, before the Nautilus. Focus on it. Let yourself go. I'll try. It's difficult to focus. Everything began six months ago, the day of the wreck of the AES Annabel Lee. Cedric's strange machine unleashed my memories, lightening the dark void of my stay at the island. The Annabel Lee was my first assignment as a scientific officer at the American Empire Navy. In addition to the war's own menace, there was a rumor that a huge sea monster was around, sinking ships. Despite my skepticism, three weeks after our departure, in the dead of night, that rumor became a reality, by pouncing on our ship and in a matter of minutes wrecking us. By some miracle, I survived. Luckily, the currents brought me to the island. Later, I understood that my extraordinary journey started right there. Where am I? Oh, 
God. The attack. The monster. That sea beast came out from beneath and rammed the Annabelle Lee, ripping apart the hull like a rotten fruit. Why is it so hard to recall? There's no sign of life. Maybe I will find someone inland. Oh, I need food. A petroglyph. It's ancient. It must mean something. An old letter seems to be written by an outcast. It must be important. I need something to clear up this thicket. This place is a paradise, but not a soul around. I hope this island will not become my grave. There's something written on it. In this place, I arrived on September the 30th of... I cannot read the year. Another petroglyph. The symbols are different. A lift. A former inhabitant made it. I hope that if he is still around, he will be friendly. However, it's been a long time since this was built. It might work. If only I could find a tackle. I need a tackle to make it work. I need to break the lock. There's a series of marks. It could be a calendar. If we take each of the small ones for a week, and the big ones for months... Oh dear! It's a whole life.
I must find a shelter first. I'm safe. Not in bad shape. It could be a good shelter until somebody rescues me. These trees have fruits. And back there, there's a stream of water. Now I need to rest. Tomorrow, with a clearer head, I will find how to fix it. I spent two days completely alone. Despite that, the island was familiarly comfortable. It was a beautiful place. All my life, I dreamed about freedom and exploring the world. Maybe that was the way destiny had to give me the chance to fulfill my desire for adventure. What the hell? I wasn't wrong. I must find out what that light was. But the island has changed. What happened? But what the... An elephant and a balloon? What's going on here? They feel familiar. Maybe a dream. Edgar Allan Poe, Alexandre Dumas, Victor Hugo. Never heard these names before. How strange. They don't look like they have been dragged here by the sea. Where do they come from? What's going on here? Compagnie Parisienne d'Electricité? That can't be. How does a streetlight get here? And this writing desk? Again, it's weirdly familiar. I need to break the lock. That must be the light I saw. Wait a moment. There's something on the ground. The stick has a weird shape, almost like a key. I need something that can help me. That's not useful now. Hmm. I need something that can help me.
What's this? A door. That wasn't here before. It's jammed. To activate the mechanism, I need the missing blocks. Could the petroglyphs be the answer? Something that can help me.
I need something that can help me. Now I have all the blocks for the door. Somebody wants me inside. What if it's a trap? Should I take the chance? However, I could probably find inside an explanation for what's going on. And of course, it's a much more solid shelter than a wood cabin. Holy Antikythera mechanism! What's this place? This hasn't been built by some castaway. I'm trapped! I hope there's another way out. Mon Dieu! What's going on on this island? The Life and Incredible Adventures of Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. Wait a moment. I remember that. I've read this book a dozen times. My God, the letters, the cabin. These are elements of that same story. Am I hallucinating? Wait a moment. There's a note here. What mystery is this? All the books have my name on them. But they're all blank. No titles. It's ancient Greek. The gift of Placea will help you to change pieces of the world. Only if your imagination is as brilliant as her flame. What's this? It must be hundreds of years old. What? Good heavens! But what in the name of... But, 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 here again? 
What's going on? Did this artifact do it? What is this? Wait a moment. The inscription. The gift of Plasea will help you to change pieces of the world. But maybe I could fix that with this devilish artifact. Fortunately, stones resisted and kept withstanding. run away from this island. Maybe I could fix the boat with this devilish artifact. I'd rather face the dangers at sea than stay trapped in this madness. What the hell is going on? Hours later, while I was drifting away, my head still boiled with questions. I could never imagine that my salvation would come in the form of the monster that destroyed my own ship. Scared to death, I discovered a new truth. It was a monster, yes, but made of steel. I could never imagine that my salvation would come in the form of the monster that destroyed my own ship. What a tale! If I hadn't seen the iMag working with my own eyes, I would truly believe that you, as we doctors say, were as mad as a March hare. Does something of this make any sense to you? Not at all, but it's not me who has to find it. However, it's obvious that everything, your hallucinations, your amnesia, the books, even the island, draws lines that link your mind with the iMag. Any clue of how we can fix that? Have you considered that your status inside the Nautilus could be the reason for your, let's say, disconnection? It must be hard for you to live together with the ones responsible for the attack that sank your ship. Months ago, I would have told you yes, and that I hated them for it. But I understood that war is war, and I must recognize, much to my regret, that the captain has opened for me the doors of an incredible world that without the Nautilus and his technology, I could never dream of reaching. Am I a prisoner? Well, there are much worse prisons out there. We're all trapped inside the Nautilus one way or another, my friend. A similar dilemma afflicts myself since I began to be part of this crew. I consecrated my career to save lives, and now I'm a piece of a ruthless war machine. On the other hand, my cholera research is only possible thanks to Nemo's technology. He's an extraordinary man, but fearful. His current condition is unsettling. History will judge him as it will do with us, and whoever writes it will park us in the place he believes we deserve. 
Now, go to your quarters and get some sleep. Doctor's orders. Vern! I knew I'd find you here. How are you? What has the doctor said? I'm fine. I just need some... Oh, good. I'm afraid that it will have to wait. What happens? Ah, this never stops. Vern, I revised my notes. Maybe if we dig more into the ship that carried the chest and the compass, maybe we can find out another way to open it. Just in case the iMag doesn't work anymore. Not a bad idea. Oh, bloody... Oh, do me a favour. The captain keeps a very detailed record of the Greek ship's history. Please, take a look. See what you can find. I'm coming! I'm coming! Search into the closet. Look for the log. <laughs> I don't envy her job, that's for sure. God, the elevators are still working. I must find some information before leaving. Mr. Burns, don't come any closer. I must find some information before leaving. And that's all the records we have about the Scylla, the Greek ship. But these are the same papers that... Wait, what does this mean? This note. Important info in audio cylinders 399, 244 and 219. I still have some stuff to do. Sub-Lieutenant Ned Land speaking. Documentation record regarding the Ancestor's Island. This is the place in which everything tells us that the flame of Hephaestus lies in. It's not only protected by those so-called ancestors, but also it's located at the center of a magnetic anomalies area that drives navigation devices mad. And to make matters worse, the island is also surrounded by huge currents and fog banks, making it virtually unreachable. Who's this Ned Land? I can't recall that name in the crew. Sub-Lieutenant Ned Land speaking. Documentation record regarding the Compass of Destiny. According to our research, this compass, crafted with a mineral only found in the Ancestor's Island, always points to it as if it was its own north. This, combined with a coordinate system, was used by the few ships that still traded with the island. Nothing new, but what happened to this officer? I still have some stuff to do. I still have some stuff to do.
I still have some stuff to do. I still have some stuff to do. I still have some stuff to do. Sub-Lieutenant Ned Land speaking. Documentation record regarding the flame of Hephaestus. In historical records and legends, it is told that the Atlantean people found in the ancestors' island an amazing energy, which they called the flame of Hephaestus. Its implementation allowed them, in a few years, to develop unimaginable technology. It moved their ships and the gigantic machinery that built their city and harvested large crops. They also created a system of extraction. I must record this here. Today, I have found something that... It may change it all. I was with the communication system, routine maintenance, when I locked on a very strange signal. It, it sounded almost like a voice, but it was only noise. But, oh God, Captain has replied and they've been talking like he understood that horrible sound. It seemed like they were talking about picking up a load at a certain point of the Indian Ocean. And the Captain was constantly repeating a name, Vern. I haven't recognized the other voice, but I can't believe it. Nemo is not a traitor. I must confirm this before saying anything. We are about to dock at the secret base. If there's any evidence against Nemo, it will be there, in his office. I hope that they don't catch me, and that I'm wrong, too. What? What have I just heard? Was Nemo waiting for me in the middle of the sea? My brothers, I know you are afflicted. Shame fell on us because we failed in our mission of capturing terrorist Nemo. I know because I felt the same dishonor. But I have had an epiphany. We didn't suffer a defeat. Fate revealed our true mission in front of our eyes. The artifact is a prodigy that can change destiny. We have been spending our lives under the boot of politicians and bureaucrats of the curia of the nation, those who just exist to fill their bellies at the expense of our blood. I say, let's take the artifact and forge a new world based on order and purity. Are you with me, brothers? Those days, my sanity felt like walking on a glass floor. I discovered that no one in the crew had ever heard talk about Officer Ned Land. If that was not enough, the recordings disappeared and left me with no other evidence of it than my damaged memory. Somebody was pulling the strings of my fate. What did they want from me? I had to find out before it was too late. I could just follow Ned Land's advice, search into Nemo's office and bring the truth to light, whatever it was. I must leave my plans for breaking into Nemo's office for later. The captain and Edriel want to meet me.
It's not the time to go back to the Nautilus. I still have things to do here.